Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at construction 11 where we construct a triangle given side, angle, side. For construction 11, we want to construct a triangle given side, angle, side. So again, if we look to our congruency topic, we'll know when we're trying to prove congruency of two triangles, um, we can use side, angle, side as one of those conditions. So in this particular example, we have the distance between point E and D is 9 centimetres, between E and F is 7, and the angle FED is 50 degrees, and we basically want to construct this. So just like in our previous construction, construction 10, we always draw ourselves a rough sketch to begin with, okay? So I'm going to use my longest side to be my base length, so it's going to be E D and that's nine centimeters and I'm going to go to my angle next okay so my angle is angle F E D so basically F is going to be up here somewhere come down to E and out to D okay so I'm going to place F there again it might not actually be exactly in that position but roughly speaking so our angle F E D is 50 so I know the 50 degree angle needs to go in here and obviously I can connect that up then for my full triangle and E F which is this side is seven. Okay, so now I have an idea of what my triangle should look like. So I'm going to start off with the baseline again. So I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to measure nine centimeters. And I have mentioned this in other construction videos, but I'm using pen purely because I'm doing this as a video, but you should be doing it using pencil. So I'm going to mark that as E D and that's nine centimeters. Okay, the next thing you're going to do now is you're not going to go measure your seven uh, centimeters we need to do our angle next so you're going to get your uh, protractor and you're going to place your protractor at point e and you're going to measure around 50 degrees okay so i'm going to put the crosshairs of my uh, protractor down a point e line up my straight line start at zero and i'm going to measure around to 50 degrees Okay, so just take your time making sure everything is lined up, up to 50, and I'm going to pop down my dot there, okay? What you're going to do next then, this is really important, that dot does obviously not represent F, okay? So what we need to do to be careful here is we need to bring our point E up to our point that we just drew and draw a continuous line up there. And we know this angle here is 50 degrees. Now I want to find where along that line is seven centimeters. So what we're gonna do next is you're going to get your um, ruler and you're gonna measure your compass seven centimeters. So you're gonna stretch it out to seven centimeters. Okay, and then you're gonna to go to point E and you're gonna draw an arc and where that arc meets your line is where your seven centimeter distance is, which represents point F. So I can mark that as seven centimeters, and then you're gonna join point F down to point D, and that is construction number 11. And as I mentioned in construction number 10, make sure you don't wipe out any of your construction lines, keep them all there for your teacher or your examiner to see. Thanks for watching today's video where we went through construction 11.